Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday, April 4th. Uh, go out and vote. Alan, I don't know if you've gone and voted. Um, I was number 846, which for a math nerd, that's a pretty interesting number. It goes even from eight to six to four. I just, I don't know, I got a little geeked out about that. Um, so if you get the opportunity to go vote, please do. Um, part of your democratic responsibilities. Um, I'm not gonna go into the elephant in the room, which is New York City and Mar-a-Lago and what's going on over there. Um, everybody has their own opinions and, and that's your right. So um, so yeah, I like I said, I, I don't know enough to comment. I don't know enough to form an opinion. Um, I just know it's know what's happening. Um, doesn't really impact me at all. I, I don't think it impacts the markets. Um, at least not from what I've seen. Um, well, I mean, you can't say that because the markets were up 100, 200 points. And then after he was uh, indicted, you saw a, a almost a four or 500 point um, uh, swing. Yeah, but is that due to that? You know, I was looking through CNBC because um, I was looking for information on the banks, which I saw this morning. But if you look at this latest news, J&J uh, &J will play, pay $8.9 billion to settle claims. Um, Amazon yeah, lays off. stacks up $10. Yeah, it's funny how that works, right? And I, I had a conversation with someone else about how, you know, the stocks rally when when layoffs happen, but in the long run, that's that's not really a good sign for the economy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Amazon lays off more than a hundred employees. Um, I saw something employees, ten thousand employees. Well, this is in their games division, video game division. Um, I read something about was it GM? Um, I think it was GM. GM over no GM overtakes Ford. Um, we're taking advantage of an overbought market to raise more cash. Um, let's see. JP Morgan's top strategist says stock gains make no sense. <laughs> S&P 500 to retest the lows. Um, here, GM says 5,000 workers will take buyouts, expects a billion dollar charge. Um, so Virgin Orbit COO calls it quits. I mean, Virgin Galactic's going bankrupt. So it's, it's just not great news kind of all around. Um, you know, if we want to look at one thing, one stock that actually did and has been on a quite a tear um, is Hershey's. If if we go look at this 10 day, you know, we balance and here we've been on a run from 240 up to 260. Um, and I don't know, Alan, you, I think you said that it's going to continue to run until Easter. Yeah. Um, well, you know, and, and I, now that I'm, is that I said that on the blog that that was going to happen. Yeah, and you know, now that I mentioned that, so Good Friday. Yeah, but, but can you put up a 10-day chart? Sure. Um, I was just showing the 20 SMA. Um, yeah, it's going to drop. So heresy after Easter is going to have a big drop. It always does. <laughs> well, you know, well, when the it, stock market's closed on Friday. So I'm thinking Thursday yeah, it's this is going to. For Good Friday, it's correct. Yeah, so I'm thinking Thursday might start to drop, and and someone you know asked me, you know, is is this extended? And and yeah, it is. But you know, in the same sense, it's got Easter that's pushing it up. Um, yeah. And really, honestly, the best way to play this is just you know watch the open, watch the five minute. Um. So, yeah, another stock that I saw that was up in the morning that couldn't hold was Google. 
Um, no, I was long Google this morning. I sold. I think I sold at 10, 15, 10, 10. Yeah, let me bring up the five. You got the daily chart. Um, so this is the five minute. So here's where it did take off and then basically couldn't hold it. Yeah, I sold, I sold it at the top. I think it was 10, 10 as I sold. Yeah, Around which that range. is, what time is this? 9.30. So these are Eastern times. Yeah, somewhere within there. Um, I think it'd be long going into Easter is that. But there is a large amount of call options on the April 21st, um, 100 calls on uh, Ra um, on Raytheon. Oh, really? Um, let's yeah. get Raytheon. So here's Raytheon, the daily. Is this the daily? Um, yeah, three month daily. Um, had quite the move yesterday. And if you, you mentioned calls. Where's Raytheon? Raytheon. Yeah, here we're switching to calls. Hmm. Even though it had a red day, it's still calls were out leading or leading puts. Um, yeah. And like I said, before anybody gets excited, this, it works for one stock, but I need it to work for more than one. Um, so I'm still working on that. Um, so yeah. Um, anything else you want to look at? I know Tesla's not doing well. Um, Don't bring up Tesla. It is. So here's the three month. It's kind of holding 190. Um, I'm not too. And um, so Tesla reports near the end of the month. I think it's a Tuesday. Anyway, um, so Tesla reported um, disappointing. And when I say disappointing, I mean they expected 445,000 either deliveries or inventory. And I think they only made 440. So it's not like a devastating number. Um, but their deliveries and their production are down for the first quarter or, or lower than expected. Um, so whether or not this continues to sell off in their earnings. And like I said, I believe it's the last week of April um, that Tesla has earnings. And we can check really quickly if we wanted to. Um, oh, that's what I want. April 19th. Oh, it's a week early. Um, so the week before, if we go look at a calendar, um, here we are. So not next week, but the week after is when Tesla reports. So um, last thing I wanted to finish up and then toss it over to Alan is, so I, I, I still have this relationship with the banks. Um, someone toss this over to me. Uh, it's an Instagram, so I can't watch it too many times. Um, this Jeff Jackson is a, a freshman congressional rep over in North Carolina, basically explaining what happened with Silicon Valley. Um, started with a group chat of a, of a couple people. Um, you know, they were saying, oh, you know, the bank just reported they lost money on an investment. Talked about pulling their their deposits. Uh, next thing you know, it went to Twitter, went viral, and sure enough, forty billion dollars left the bank, which is quite a a liquidity crisis. Um, government stepped in, bigger bank, and and what was happening is is people were taking their money out of these regional smaller banks and putting them them in the larger banks. 
um, you know, good for the big banks, right? Um, JP Morgan um, and Jamie Dimon, I believe, took that money and, and funneled it back into the regional banks like First Republic and uh, First Republic um, and other regional banks. Um, you know, he's quoted in this article saying, um, any crisis that damages Americans' trust in banks damages all banks, um, which is true. Um, you know, we're, our banking system is built, and actually even our dollar system is built on trust. You know, there's no, you have $500 in your wallet. There's no metal, there's no, nothing worth $500 that the government is keeping. Um, it's the, it's, <laughs> Our dollar is backed by the faith in the U.S. government to be able to pay its debts, um, you know, which leads to another topic because we're kind of coming up on the debt ceiling. Um, but it's all based on trust. Um, so if you don't have trust in the banks, um, that would cause a run um, and could cause more irreparable damage. So. Um, you know, in, in the government we trust and in, in the banks we trust. So, um, Alan, I don't know, do you want to, what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about the debt ceiling? You want to talk about... Let me go ahead and, uh, let me give you some ideas for some trades. So the first trade that I'd like to go ahead and talk about, which I like is, um, 3M. It's it's uh it's hitting back up against this twenty day simple moving average. It's at an all time low. It's re recalibrating right back to um, where it was. You can see where it's having two double bottoms. It raised up from the bottom that it hit, uh, and um, I'm looking at the one hundred five calls, and I like that. Um, to hold till Friday, I'm sorry, Thursday. And I think we can go ahead and, and it's a cheap trade, it's 50 contracts at $250. So um, I think that might be a nice trade. And then my go-to lately is MasterCard. MasterCard um, is has been one of my, my better trades because it's so cheap. And it moves it moves quite a bit. What I like on MasterCard is that um, if you got the 365 call. Hmm. Now I'm basing this on what I'm seeing in the option volumes. And um, you know, but wait, wait for it um, to see where we're gonna play it off the five minute tomorrow. Um, I have been telling you all along about Hershey. Um, I think that the problem with Hershey is that you probably got some opportunities again going into Easter. I like the 260 calls um, and that that would be uh, um, where I would be leaning toward. Um, so I could see that easily going up to 265. Yeah, and there's quite a bit in the money on the call side. Yeah, if you look at the 260 April 14th calls, there's 386 right out laying on uh, on on that amount. So I think that's giving you yeah a nice upside. Oh, April 14th, right here. Yeah, the next next week's expiration. Yeah, and you and you got. 270 calls on the April 28th. So um, those are what I see the plays are right this minute. In terms of what's going on in the world, um, nothing good. <laughs> Russia and China seem to be uniting. Um, in the United States, we're having inner turmoil and um, problems. Uh, you got Democratic um, 
uh, district attorneys um, going after ex-presidents, you know, unless somebody committed a major crime, it's usually considered taboo to go ahead and, and, and I mean, to go ahead and arrest the front runner for, for president <laughs> <laughs> on a misdemeanor uh, offense at that. So um, uh, yeah. it, it's just, um, you know, it's just, it's unfortunate. So whether you like them or you don't, and uh, nowadays I, I can't say that, um, um, you know, it's, it's, it, people are torn between him and other people. Hence, DeSantis. But, well, um, and, and I, 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 I'm under the impression that overall Trump is going is bad for the Republican Party because he's going to divide it. You know, he's going to pull pull his base, but there are going to be those that are turned off and and basically fracture the the Republican Party. I don't think. Um, and, and like last, I, I I think the last election was more, I'm not voting for Biden. I'm just, or I'm, yeah, I'm not voting for Biden. I'm just not voting for Trump. So I think if, if the Republicans are in this position again, um, you know, they need to unify and for what it's worth. Um, you know, I, I, I like his policies. I do. Um, but I've never liked Trump even before he ran. You know, my wife and I used to watch The Apprentice, um, and we could, you know, even from that, we we just did not like his personality. Um, but you know, that's not not being political. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Um, well, the the issue is is that um, I don't think uh, he'd ever get a I think he'd ever get a um, a felony on this, anyways. But um, you know, right. it's just that uh, it's just getting everybody upset. I think so. Yeah, I you know honestly, I think it's pay the fine, move on kind of thing. And you know, in a month, in two months, it'll be in the rearview mirror, and you know, some other crisis that the media seems to um, focus on will occur, um, you know, and every once in a while it pops its head back. You know, it used to be, so was it the train derailments and then it was the spy balloons, which kind of popped back into the, into the media. Um, I don't know what it was before that, but it seems like there's always a new crisis that, everybody needs to get worked up about so so yeah um i'm too busy and too tired to to kind of keep track of all that stuff <laughs> i just let me let me do my day try to figure out what we're doing for easter um thrilled that my daughter's coming back from college because she missed my birthday um so and the bucks are i think they four or five games left um, I really want them to clinch home court advantage. Um, so, um, we'll see if I can get to a game. So, um, so yeah, that's my life. I, I let all that stuff over there happen and I'm not one to get too psyched up about things. So, so yeah, yeah. So anyway, I think we'll wrap it up. Um, you know, Alan some, gave some good longs going into this short week or, or going into Thursday, because remember the market's closed on Friday. Um, play Hershey day by day, because eventually it's going to drop. It's just a matter of, um, is it tomorrow? Is it Thursday? Or is it going to hold out for the weekend? Um, Tesla's got bad news as far as their deliveries. Um, so watch that one. I, I think the Tesla, I don't want to say fanboys, but I think the Tesla traders want to prop up this stock. I don't think they want it to drop um, much further than it already has. Because you'll see it, it'll tank in the morning and then it'll kind of slowly make its way back up. Um, 
So, yeah, I think oil's gonna pop again. Um, so, what's today, Tuesday? Friday, oil popped crazily, um, came down this mo today, and I believe the bulls are gonna continue to pull, to bring those up. Um, you know, and oil is CVX, Oxy, um, XOM kind of thing. So, um, any parting word, words, Ellen? Um, no one hold true Easter, that's for sure. You are going through Jewish Passover, um, which is actually on um, Friday. You know, it's Good Friday, too. And so, um, the holy uh, holiday, if you remember the um, Jesus was in Jerusalem uh, for Passover, and then that's um, um, why he was there. So, right, yeah, I found out from my so I have a a developer over in Pakistan, and I found out that it's Ramadan as well. So that's another yeah, religion. Yeah, no, they're all intersecting together. Right, yeah. So now I got to study what that is. Um, yeah, you got you, you, you know. And I'm Catholic. Easter I'm not, Christian. And yeah, I'm I'm Catholic. Catholic. Yes. But I'm not like a practicing Catholic. I don't. I mean, sometimes I eat meat on Friday or whatnot, and um, so I'm not. Yeah, like a true. I I guess practicing. So, another religion I got to study is Ramadan. So, so when I talk to him, see what I don't know if you say Happy Ramadan or, I don't know. My son wants to say hi. See, hey, kind of how you doing? In out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's hard because you're breaking through. Yeah, right. There I you wish go. you could throw me a football. Right, exactly. Yeah. 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 So anyway, ha have a good rest of the week. Have a have a happy Easter. I hope if any religion, I hope you get to spend it with family. Um and um we'll talk to you guys soon. So all right. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Bye, everyone. Bye.